Um, I actually haven't seen that many scars on the profile picture. Supposedly they can get pretty messed up, but I find that they tend to just die if they get a scar on their face. So for Forgotten Beastie is dead. Uh, this guy is still running around. He's killing a lot of rodent men. Well, you have fun with that. It probably can get into the fort, so that's going to get exciting at some point. Okay, let's see how the king is doing. Slightly happier. All right. And the king is storing... Oh, never mind. That's 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 not the king. That is my chief medical dwarf who's putting away his sock who he left in the king's throne bedroom. Royal bedroom. Yeah, that word. It's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> Basically, if it if it's a community-driven thing, the whoa, oh, huh? <laughs> it's like whoa, violence. Um, okay, so remember how I said that the Forgotten Beast could get in very easily? Well, it appears that Bone Saw is still good. Did our Captain of the Guard just get turned to pieces? No. Okay, let's wait a few turns, see where the military is at. The dwarves are all just punching the thing. This is the thing that's gotten a bunch of kills. Has killed Kodal and Nil, uh, two of my dwarves. It is winded and bleeding, which is a good sign. They are punching it pretty effectively. Um, although Olin uh, just flew to a number of very small individual pieces. Um, as far as the military goes, there is a dog right there. So here's hoping uh, the dog comes in and helps. Bunch of dwarves are found dead. Uh, Muthkat, Rakust, and uh, Kodal, Nil, and Olin. Um, there's more bodies. Ustuth uh, just flew around. Uh, we've got a, a dog who is who does have five children and killed a giant wren once who is dueling with the creature. In fact, has bit it in the right front paw and tore the muscle, which is very impressive. We have more dogs joining in with the fighting. Uh, the military is God knows where. Um, Kivish the Tanner, who I think is in the military, yes, is in the watchful oblivions, which isn't actually a squad that I have. Did you? Where? Okay. So they're, they're a former soldier for the monadic group, the Sacks of Sweeping, and they're a former member of my squads, but like, isn't in one of my squads. So this is a military dwarf who's married to a dwarf who's dead, who has metal gear, but like, and mil quite a lot of military skill, but isn't in one of my squads. That is interesting. Hmm. Anyway, the dwarves are dogpiling it. So are the dogs. Moses the wrestler was found dead. Bits and pieces are just flying everywhere. The creature is winded, bleeding very heavily, fully enraged. The dwarves are just punching the ever-living crap out of it. And honestly, I that this could be going a lot worse. I don't think the king is dead. No, so that's a good thing. We haven't lost any of our nobles, so that's a good thing. Um, the outpost liaison, I think, isn't dead, so that's a good thing. And uh, there is a forgotten beast uh, in, in the living room. And the soldiers are now arriving, so they can start whacking it with their shields. Um, and uh, now the sad music is playing, and uh, the creature is dead. Vobok, the outpost liaison, is about to die, but isn't dead yet, so that's a positive. Um, and as far as the kill goes, um, let's see if I can jump to the creature itself and figure it out. Uh, the Mace Lord kicks the Forgotten Beast in the rear leg with her foot bruising the fat. Okay, so which one of you is a Mace Lord? <laughs> well, it probably wasn't you because you're on the other side of the map. What's funny is this isn't a Mace Dwarf. This is, I'm pretty sure, a Mark's Dwarf. Yes, this is a, no, eh, wait, never mind. This is a Dwarf that equips two shields. How, did, how are you considered a Mace Dwarf when you've never wielded a Mace? Anyway, apparently shields are considered maces. What did I learn? Um, the, the dwarf actually punched it in the upper body with her left hand, and the attack glanced away, and then kicked it in the rear leg, perusing the fat, and was credited with the kill. Congratulations, dwarves. We have successfully defeated the monster. But at what cost? It was horrible and horrifying. But we did it. Let's see if we can butcher it. Actually, I'm not entirely sure it's made out of a butcherable material, but we're gonna try it. You 
You know what's funny is how I literally stated, yo, you know, we might just be about to be, whoop, there's a ghost. We might just be about to be attacked by a forgotten beast. Anyway, and then it shows up. I kinda, kinda hoped that it,